Hello Dippy Dinos, welcome back to the Dinosaur Toy Blog channel. Uh, some of you might remember from a previous video this box, this double grinder box. Well, it obviously isn't really a double grinder. This is a repurposed box. It contains something that I bought on eBay. So let's get in and take a look. Okay. One side. Two sides, there we go, three sides. I've been waiting for weeks and weeks to unbox this. That's the one thing about unboxing purchases. You can't just do them when they come in, no matter how excited you are, you have to wait. So, this is something I bought on eBay UK for a UK based seller. Uh, let's see, there is an ichthyosaur. Now, this is all part of one statue, I think. This looks like it could be the base. Yep. And another part. A It looks to me like a marine crocodile. Now, let's put these to one side. Open these up a little bit. Wow, okay. So this is a bit of a mystery where this has come from. Whether it's a mass produced figure or a bespoke model, I'm a bit unclear on. Well, that's unusual. The tail is sort of uh, horizontal rather than vertical. It's really light. If you can hear, it sounds like it's hollow. Uh, almost as if it's made out of some sort of uh, resin. There are no markings on the underside as far as I can see. But it's really nicely detailed. Pretty cool. Well, uh, Let's have a look at the ichthyosaur. <laughs> really, really good actually. Really sharp looking fins. That's an interesting choice. Again, that same hollow material, almost like it's been uh, sculpted and cast. Uh, nicely, ne neatly painted eyes and teeth. What's this plastic rod? Plastic rod feels like uh, well, it's quite flexible, almost like a straw. Okay. And is there anything worth noting on the base? No, the base is incredibly light. And this base is obviously homemade. No information on the base. So I think that this must be a bespoke statue. It's not mass produced, this is a unique object. Apparently it was purchased in Japan. Or at least from Japan. Let's see if I can put these together. I'll just adjust the camera. Okay, that's as slightly adjusted. Now, I'm trying to remember from the picture, does the, I think the ichthyosaur might go in the top there. Yep. And then the crocodile must go in the bottom there. Wow. Okay. Well, you can, you can just about get the ichthyosaur to bite the rear flipper of the crocodile. Okay, that's a beautiful piece. A bit frustrating that I don't know who has built it or when. So if anybody watching knows anything about these sculptures or the sculptor who created them, please do let me know in the comments. And I'm really happy with this statue that will look excellent along with my other statues. 
which are actually all located in my kitchen because I've got nowhere else to put them. And so here are my statues, lovely Horizon Elasmosaurus, Allosaurus and Stegosaurus there by Michael Trike. Other large oversized figures, PNSO, the beautiful rearing Euhelopus. Hiding behind that is the Atat. It's not just dinosaurs here. Some more PNSO critters and other small statues. So I'm going to have to find a space somewhere up here to put my new mysterious Ichthyosaurus and prehistoric crocodile statue. There, I found a place for it on the other side of my kitchen next to the Jurassic Park style T-Rex and a few other marine reptile skeletons back there that I unboxed recently. Uh, that's everything from me today. Until next time, take care.